Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a, a video link that was a, like a something new to me called a Corel Short. They, the guy goes real fast. And the, the person that sent it to me says he's using the Bezier tool. I had to really slow down the video to see what tool he would pick. But I never use the Bezier tool, but his question was, how does he curve it? So one thing that's pretty neat about the Bezier tool, you could just... I'm just left clicking, just clicking my mouse one time with, you know, I'm not drawing lines. I'm just going from point to point with the Bezier tool and we'll only go about that far. Now, his question was, how does he turn these into curves with the shape tool? Well, I didn't mean to do that. Take the shape tool and select all these nodes and right click and turn them into a curve, okay? Now, in a little bit, we might wanna turn some of them into a cusp, but if we wanna take the shape tool now and we can bring that one out a little bit more, we can arch that one and we can arch that one. Uh, it is kind of a good way uh, to you know do something. Uh, I, I do very little tracing anymore. I use the trace quite a bit. You know, we could put, maybe put that node in the middle. Or I, I do trace, but I do not hand trace like this. Uh, I have found that I could uh, get pretty close without hand tracing. We could even add a node I double clicked. And then at some point, you know, you might want to zoom in. And because you don't want that jagged edge, so you can always bring that back. And I'm not going to take a lot of time, but you can, you've got two handles and you can do this. Now, all of these are kind of act, acting like a cusp because it's only moving one. So if you find you're moving both sides and you can see, just see that we only have uh, one handle, you know, I might even delete that node right there and take this one and just bump that out. So I'm just using the handles. You know, at some point you might want to delete a node to get a smoother feel. I'm going to go ahead and finish this real quick and then we can kind of mirror it and see how good we are. You know, we could bump this out. It is a good way to trace. I get now there. Now we're acting. This is, this is a curve. So if I don't want that to do, I could right click and turn that into a cusp and then the one handle moves and the other handle doesn't move. So we're almost done here with the part I'm gonna do. And we'll just kind of look at it, uh, how it looked. You know, I could, you could bring this down and take this handle and curve it. I, I've started doing a lot of this with the three point curve line. Now see that kind of turned it back into a busy ear curve. I don't want that. I want a cusp so I, I cannot move but one side at a time. And that looks pretty, pretty bad, pretty sad, but uh, let's just call that good and let's move our picture out of the way and we have that profile and you know, well, let's, let's put the picture back and let's take the profile and control D and duplicate it and mirror it. I need to mirror it the other way. Well, I once I mirrored it the wrong way, I should have. Okay, I need to mirror it that away and move. I'm going to take the X and hold down the control button so it follows the, you know, we're pretty close. I mean, the wood is at an angle, but if we take out the drawing, we got a pretty good profile if that was your intent. So that's how he's doing it with the Bezier tool. I don't ever use it. You know, you could do the same thing with the freehand tool or the two-point line. The two-point line is going to draw a line. You know, you have to actually draw the line. You actually have to, you know, move your mouse with your... Uh, move the mouse with the button down. But you could do the same thing with the line tool and just keep moving. Where the Bezier tool, you're just putting dots on points so that it might be helpful for some people. You're just putting dots on point. You don't have to do this. Matter of fact, you don't want to do that when you're doing this. Just dot 
dot, 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 dot. You know, you might be a little quicker by not worrying about it. Anyway, I hope that answered this question. Thank you for watching.